No, I assure you, it is a polar bear. Well, he lives in a mall. You keep eating those pizzas, we'll see how you look inside of a year. Got it. Last death ray gun in the store. Almost had to flatten this lady from Oak Park to get it. Oh, who's it for? I don't know, a death sergeant's kid. Uh, maybe I'll keep it for myself. It's pretty cool. Watch. That's really irritating, Rick. Well, you didn't get any. Well, no, I tend to... Well, I prefer to make my own presents. Oh, my. Look at this. Look at this. This is nice. Gentleman has a good eye. Yeah. How much for... Uh, how much for this? It's a log. Yes. Uh, would $5 be sufficient? Yeah, sure. All right. Here you are. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Fraser, it's a log. Marvelous log. I'm so sorry. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? You got water on my damn suit. Oh, oh Excuse me, sir. I'm sure this young man meant no harm. Oh. If I was you, I'd walk away. Well, happily, as soon as you've apologized to this man. <laughs> I don't apologize to anybody, ever. Well, perhaps now would be a good time to start. Yeah? Okay. You want an apology? No. <laughs> Very well. You'll have to come with me. I'm performing a citizen's arrest. <laughs> Get out of the way. Chicago PD, drop the gun. On the table, drop the gun. Am I going too fast for you? I got a permit. Shut up! On the table, get on the ground. All of you, on the ground. You got any idea who I am? No, but I'm sure you'll soon tell me. Mr. Warfield. Tommy, Warfield. Look, look, please, this is just all a misunderstanding. It's not my fault. Look, we don't want any trouble here. Gentlemen, please, no trouble. It wasn't your fault. You made a mistake, and this man committed a crime. Fraser. Who did is he? Well, apparently his name is Warfield, and you know, he's one of the biggest mob bosses in Chicago. Oh. Gentlemen, we greatly appreciate your cooperation. We thank you for your patience. Now, all of you were witness to a crime. And if you'll be so kind as to step forward one by one, we'll be very happy to take your statements. Apparently, no one saw anything. Really, Fraser, I am shocked and amazed. Anything, ladies and gentlemen, anything that you remember at all, anything. What would be the point? The point would be justice. Where the hell do you come from? Canada. And, and zeal's a big thing up there. So this is definitely a zeal. Justice. Yeah, well, maybe there they got justice. Here, we got brains. This victim was a fellow employee, a friend of yours. I can't believe that none of you are willing to make a statement. Are they all Canada? Ladies and gentlemen, I, I really don't mean to be condescending, but justice cannot exist in a democracy without the support and cooperation of an informed citizenry. If you let this man walk away from his crimes, you not only let down this entire city, but you encourage him to continue in his criminal endeavors. Maybe we're afraid. Of what? Warfield. There's nothing to be afraid of. There are laws. Not working too good as far as I can see. Well, they will work if you all do your part. I thank you kindly for your time. Lieutenant, I hear you have Willie Warfield locked up. Look, I just got here. I don't know what's happening yet. You think you finally have something to stick to Slick Willie? A couple of my best men brought him in. If they believe they have something, I gotta believe them. What are you charging him with? Slapping a bus boy.
brought Warfield in here for slapping a busboy. Yes, sir. Is that a problem? It's a nothing beef, Constable. He's already walked on four murder warning conspiracy charges. I think he's going to go down for spitting on the sidewalk. Well, no, sir. I think he's going to go down, as you put it, for assault. But the kid won't even press charges. Well, but we both witnessed it. Detective, would you explain to the constable how the system works? I, I got a good deal with a high-priced lawyer. Lieutenant's right, Fraser. That's an explanation.